Hi guys, it's me, Vicki, back again with another haul video. This time it's from Joanne Fabrics. I really went into the live store instead of buying things from the internet. And here was something it, it seemed like to me. Number one, uh, Joanne.com has a lot more on their website than they do in the store. Now see, they, my Joanne, just moved from my neighborhood about 30, 40 minutes away. And it's kind of like they left the country and went to the big city. And when they did that, the store grew in size by, it like doubled or, tr well, it probably tripled actually. So they have a lot more products. It sure is a pretty store, but truth be told, I miss them being around the corner. And I've done a lot more shopping on Joanne.com. And I, I don't know. I wasn't impressed with the store. I just wasn't. I've noticed that lately Joanne Fabrics, they're not doing as many 40% off crafting or paper crafting supplies as they used to. And paper crafting supplies, what does that mean? Because when I get to the store, it's on my flyer it said something like 30% off paper crafting supplies okay now thickers is a paper crafting supply but they weren't on sale and they didn't have a very big selection online they are on sale uh what else was i thinking ribbon was not on sale paper crafting supplies and it was the ribbon over in the paper crafting aisle it wasn't on sale I mean, if paper crafting supplies are on sale, shouldn't everything in the paper crafting aisles be on sale? You would think. And I get it that there has to be like the exclusion on Spellbinders or Cricut. Maybe there's just not a big markup on those items, but uh, paper pads, embellishments, brads, flowers. I think if you have paper crafting supplies on sale, and that's what your ad says, then I think all your stuff in the paper crafting aisle should be on sale. My two cents. Got change for a nickel. Anyway, let's get going here. Some of the things I picked up. Yeah, you know me. Last one through the front door. I got the little uh, reindeer stamp. And it was still a dollar. And I got this little number. But I've been wanting that all through the Christmas season. And I just didn't make it into Joanne's. Um, and this little Santa Claus. You guys have seen these already. You would think those would have been 70% off. Like the other Christmas stuff. They weren't. Um, I got glue. Uh, you know what? I'm going to talk about this for a minute because I struggled finding this. I wanted the Zig or yeah, the Zig EK Tools glue that had the metal fine tip applicator. And you would not believe how many of these I bought that were different, but this size, thinking, oh, this must be the uh fine tip. This must be that metal pen-like uh, applicator. And I get home and it was another felt tip. Now, it was a fine tip felt tip, but it was still felt. I wanted the, like, the metal uh, attachment or, you know, the tip. Anyway, apparently the secret is the white cap. Look for the Zig glue pen that says glue pen, fine tip, and it has the white cap. And then this is the one that has, let me see if I can find one that's open. Hang on, guys. Yes, here it is. This is the kind of tip. I love this pen. If you're a new crafter, this will be one of your best 
purchases at, in my book. And it's, again, it's the Zig uh, two-way glue squeeze and roll marker. Now, and it says two-way. I thought it meant it opened on one side and the other like it had a skinny tip and a fat tip. Now, sometimes they do. It has a fat tip and a skinny tip. But what they mean by two-way glue marker is it is repositional or permanent glue. So, again, new crafter alert. This is something I didn't get when I first started scrapbooking or when this item first came out. Um, I have to tell you, though, one of my favorite glues is this Tombow Mono Multipurpose Liquid Glue. Now, I don't know that it's my favorite because it's such a great glue or because of the applicator. The tip of this is very small. Let me show you. Again, this is for people who are just maybe really, you know, starting to scrapbook. But here's the applicator tip. Now, um, Cricketologist Janice, and I, her channel is uh, Cricket. But and it's got numbers. I don't know what it is, but I'll leave the link below. She just made a very good point. She likes the tip of the Tombow Mono too, and she likes that it's quick dry. But like she said, this is kind of pricey. And what she does now is cleans that out and puts this in. Guess what? I'm going to steal that idea, Janice. If you haven't watched her uh, videos, please, you know, uh, do that. Go over and just watch a couple of her videos. You'll love her personality. You'll love her delivery. And she has great tips and ideas. And uh, she doesn't really do a lot of haul videos. But she'll, like when she's using a product, she'll go, and I got this at you know, and I really like it, or I won't buy it again, so, um, and did I say her projects are good, too? <laughs> anyway, I really like, uh, watching her videos. She was one of the first, uh, people that I would watch on YouTube, so, hi, Janice, thanks for all your tips, and here's my little stamp I got to go with my reindeers. Happy holidays, may you play in all the reindeer games. Once again, I'm done with cards this year, but you can never be prepared, right, for next year. And listen, every year I say this about everything, I'm getting started on this stuff much sooner than I did this year. Although, I had started my cards in the first part of November, and I did pretty good, but, you know, maybe I'll start doing my cards in July. Something I would like to do... Uh, I should do like a New Year's resolution or what's that? Is that the right word? Doesn't sound right. Anyway, I would like to start making more cards for Operation Right Home. And I know they're starting to bring our troops back from Iraq, but we still have deployed soldiers, guys, and they can't always get a greeting card as easy as we can. And the Operation Ride Home Project, I just think it's cool. I mean, it's something that I like to do, and it's for people that I really appreciate, our military families and our military staff. And I really would like to kind of resolve myself to make more cards for Operation Ride Home. And I'm going to leave the link for them below too. Maybe we all ought to do a YouTube hop and do some cards for our military personnel. And if you don't know about Operation Right Home, what it is, there's this lady Sandy who it's her brainchild and she was a, a scrapper and you know, I, I don't know if she had somebody in the military or what, but what she does is sends over thousands and uh, in fact they just hit a million last year they've sent a million cards to Afghanistan, Iraq to places where our soldiers are deployed now listen, 
when you're in a tent in Baghdad, you can't run up to CVS or Walmart and pick up a card for your loved ones. So can you imagine being deployed and wanting to do something special for your family who, like, supports what you're doing. I mean, you're leaving your family to go over and protect our United States. And the soldiers have to just find their families as amazing as I find the soldiers. So anyway, but can you imagine being a, a wife or a child or a sister, or a brother, or a mother of a soldier, a military personnel, and getting that card in the mail. Listen, I went bonkers and was just out of my skin when I got a card from my YouTube buddies. So I can't imagine what a delight and a surprise it must be to get a card from your son or your daughter or your husband or your wife who is in Afghanistan doing a job 24-7. I don't know. Once again, my two cents. Boy, I must have my soapbox out tonight. So anyway, I would like to do more cards for Operation Ride Home. Please go visit their site. Let's think about something to do for them, really. You know, you can also make a little financial donation. They have a PayPal button right on their site. And because I didn't get to make many cards for them this year, guess what I did? Every now and then I just would go over to their site and donate a couple of bucks. Think about it. The money we pay for shipping on these products we buy, you know, match it. Donate. Go to PayPal and donate a couple dollars. And I'm going to shut up now and go back to my haul. Sorry. Anyway, I bought some Prismacolor colored pencils. There's a few of uh, you crafters on here who do colored pencils and Cinecopics. And I see you use Gamsol, Odorless Mineral Spirits, but I bought Mona Lisa. And I'm going to give this colored pencil thing a try. Um, although, I, unfortunately, I, I, I forget her name. Uh, is She's the cutest young woman. She has two little boys, and she does them crazy crazy beautiful cards with like uh greeting farm and gorgeous and anyway she does prisma color pencils and uses gamsol and uh i think she said she used the mona lisa brand and just didn't like it so but anyway i'm wondering have any of you used mona lisa and liked it and where the heck do you find gamsol at i've been in stores can't find it I went online, and it was like $34 for a two-gallon jug, and I'm exaggerating there, but it was expensive, and you got like a quart. I don't think I'm going to use a quart in my whole lifetime, but, you know, here's my question. Where do you find Gamsol? And after I do the Prismacolored pencils and the uh, mineral spirits, I'll show you what I did, how it turned out. I went on and picked up this red and white gingham ribbon, which I don't think is limited to Christmas, but because it was in the Christmas section, I did get 70% off at Joanne. I bought the Stampamajig. Now, I've always thought, oh, heck, I could get my stamps on straight. Well, guess what? I cannot. And I'm admitting it. I've admitted I'm old, I've admitted I'm crazy, I've admitted I'm fat, and now I'm admitting I cannot get my stamps on straight. This was on sale, 30% off, it was normally $9.99, I got it for like $6.99, couldn't beat it. I guess this must have got lost and overlooked somehow, because I found this in the dollar bin, a uh, pumpkin patch I thought was kind of cute. I picked up some of their uh, textured paper. I'm not crazy about uh, Joann's uh, paper line. It's not too bad. Now, I would never buy their craft paper again. Their black, their white is okay for layouts and cards and such, but, uh, it, you know, it was $3.99, and I was thinking I'd do some maybe not valentine cards i might not have enough time to get it in 
to Operation Ride Home, but I noticed on their website they said they could really use I love you and miss you type of cards. And I thought this was a nice color uh, palette. This is only $14.99 when it's not on sale, but because there was 30% off paper crafting supplies, what I got $4.50 off. So it brought it down to about 10 bucks, And this is so much bigger than I thought. I see Christina Warner or Werner use this all the time. And listen, I feel like, you know what? She is another one that just designs a crazy, great card. And if she needs a stamp press, who am I? As I was going in to Joanne's, they had these. Um, well, well, they're bigger than, uh, you know, the little Twixy type of things. What's the word I'm looking for? But I got these for my Christmas pages, which I'll still be doing. And they were 49 cents a piece. Great deal. Went on and picked up these little blocks, acrylic blocks. They were normally $9.99, but they were 30% off, so I paid about $6.99. And here's the sad thing, I can get them on Scrapbook, no, scrap buck for probably 4 bucks. But I was there. Of course, their uh, punches were on sale, and I got this Fiskars uh, Squeeze Easy Corner Rounder, and it looks like it's the... Uh, what's the bigger of the corner rounders? A half inch, but there you can see. When I round my corners, I like a very noticeable rounding of my corners. And I do have another corner rounder, but it just takes a little bit off. So I'm hoping this works better. I picked up these little emotion, emo icons, I guess it's emotion icons, emotion icons. You know what they are. I thought this was kind of cute. That was in the uh, dollar bin at Joanne. And I finally picked up this, uh, the apron lace border punch. It was normally $14.99 with 30% off. The Tim Holtz products were off, and I went on and picked up the uh, Artful Muse embossing folders. Guys, I think that is it from Joanne Fabrics, the store, not the website. I got some glue, and oh, 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 let me do show you this. I went on and picked up some googly eyes. Now, these were $2.99, and strangely enough, they were 30% off. And uh, look at these little, and, yeah, two ninety nine. And look at these little googly eyes. They're colored. What a thing of the future. <laughs> and they're blue eyes and green eyes. I've never had any colored eyes. Two ninety nine, thirty percent off. Okay, I think that's it, guys. Everybody I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna put a link down at the bottom under the comments. Um, I guess that's it. I feel like I needed to tell you something else. I'll probably think what it is at 2 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, please, if you have any questions about this stuff, leave me a comment or send me a private message. I'd love to answer it for you. I think I'm going to start to give little tips that I wish I would have had when I really started to get into the whole scrapbook thing. Because sometimes you feel like, oh my God, what a stupid question. You don't want to ask them at Joanne or Michael's. And uh, this is a great place to learn how to scrapbook if you're a beginner. And if you're not a beginner, it's a great place to learn how to scrapbook better. Thanks, guys. Love you all so much. Have a wonderful New Year's if I don't talk to you before then. Hopefully I will. I'll get these uploaded and my electric won't go out again. Should have paid that bill. No, I did. And, and I've done so much shopping, you're probably thinking, she didn't pay her bill. Nobody ran into that pole out there, but they did. And, uh, okay, I'm rambling. 
Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.